Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will see how we can find out the area of similar triangles if we know that the sides are in proportion. When we say similar triangles, we know that the corresponding angles are equal and also we know that the corresponding sides are in proportion. Now, to find out how the areas of similar triangles are related, if we know the sides are in proportion, let's try to find out the area of each triangle. We have here two triangles, triangle ABC and a triangle PQR. First, I'll try to find out what is the area of triangle. I'll say area of triangle ABC. If I take BC as the base, that is nothing but equal to half into BC BC into AD, where AD is the altitude. Because we know that area of the triangle is not nothing but equal to half base into height, half BH. Here the base is BC and the altitude is AD. Similarly, area of triangle PQR is equal to half into base QR into altitude PM. Now that is the area of triangle PQR. Now, if I want to compare this area of triangles, how they are related, I will be dividing them. So, what I will have is, I will have area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is nothing but equal to half half cancels out I will have BC by QR into AD by PM now if I am able to find out the relation between BC by QR and AD by PM, then I should be able to find out a, because we know that at the end only we know that when two triangles are similar, what we know when two triangles are similar? When two triangles are similar, we know that the sides are in proportion. That means we know that AB divided by PQ is equal to BC divided by QR is equal to AC divided by PR. This is what we know when we know that two triangles are similar. We know that the sides are in proportion that is AB by PQ equal to BC by QR equal to AC by PR. This is what we know. And we have tried to calculate the area, area of triangle ABC equal to half base into height, half BC into AD. Similarly, area of triangle PQR equal to half base into height, that is half QR into PM. When I try to divide them, try to find out their ratio, area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR, I get that BC by QR into AD by PM. Now, if I somehow can find out the relation between the side of a triangle and the altitude of the triangle, then I can go ahead and say that if I know the sides are in proportion, then the areas are in, are in the proportion of what? So for that, what I will do, now the unknown here is AD by PM. So what I will do now is, I will take the triangles, this is given, so I will write here, given these two triangles are similar to us. Now I will consider the triangles A, B, D, comma, triangle P, Q, M. 
you can see that in these two triangles angle B equal to angle Q because we know that already whenever we said similar triangles let me just go back here when we said similar triangles we also said that angle A is equal to angle P angle B is equal to angle Q and also angle C is equal to angle R because if two triangles are similar then their sides are in proportion and the corresponding angles are equal so if you consider triangle ABD comma triangle PQM you know that angle B is equal to angle Q angle B is equal to angle Q we know that because triangle ABC and triangle PQR are similar so we know that they are nothing but corresponding parts of or corresponding angles of similar triangles we know that angle B equal to angle Q not only that we also know that we know that B equal to Q not only that we know D equal to M because angle D is equal to angle M that is nothing but angle ADB is equal to angle PMQ is nothing but equal to angle ADB is equal to angle PMQ is equal to 90 degrees because at D we are making a 90 degrees angle with BC because AD and PM are respectively the altitudes of triangle ABC and PQR. So we know that these two triangles are now similar. This is nothing but AA similarity because we know that two angles are of these two triangles are equal. So A by AA similarity we know that if we know that these two triangles are similar then immediately I can go ahead and say that AB by PQ is nothing but equal to PD by QM which is nothing but equal to AD by PM now once we know that these two triangles are similar ABD PQM which we have proved with AA similarity we know that the sides should be in proportion and you can see now AB by PQ equal to AD by PM e AB by PQ is equal to AD by PM but we know that AB by PQ equal to BC by QR so I can go ahead and I can write it as here I can go ahead and write this as BC by QR is nothing but equal to AB by PQ and also AD by PM is nothing but equal to AB by PQ so which gives us an important conclusion that areas of area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to AB by PQ whole square that is nothing but equal to BC by QR whole square that is nothing but equal to AC divided by PR whole square and also you can also see that that's nothing but equal to AD by PM whole square now by this we know that if we know the sides are in in a ratio then we know that their areas are in the square of them one simple example you can take is if we know that two similar triangles the areas are in the ratio of 16 is to 81 the areas are in the ratio of 16 is to 81 what will be the ratio of their sides nothing but square root of 16 is to square root of 81 that is nothing but 4 is to 9 so now we have 
found that areas of similar triangles according to if we know that two triangles are similar then their areas are in the equal to their then their areas are equal are in the ratio of the squares of the sides of the triangle that means area of triangle abc by area of triangle pqr is nothing but equal to any side you can take the square of them ab by pq whole square equal to bc by qr is equal to ac by pr here we have got ab by pq whole square but we know that ab by pq is nothing but equal to bc by qr is nothing but equal to ac by pr so one point to remember is whenever we have two similar triangles then the areas are in the ratio of square of the sides of the triangle or square of the medians of the triangle or square of the altitudes of the triangle or square of the angular bisector of the triangle whatever you take the square will be nothing but in equal to the ratio of area of the triangles so in the next video we'll try to do some problems on areas of similar triangles thanks for visiting bye for now see you in the next video thanks again